Before I get into this incredibly important topic in e-commerce, I want to kind of tell you why I think you should stick around. My small theory is that a lot of people, especially if they're younger, jump right into e-commerce and the only thing they have on their mind is sales, you know, getting that first sale, getting those first 100 customers, et cetera, et cetera, the marketing, the growth. That's their main focus at first. Now, is that the best thing to focus on? That's a topic that many people can argue about forever, and I'm not gonna put an answer on that right now. All I wanna talk about is how important logistics really is, because a lot of people focus so much on that growth, and they finally get to a level where they're actually scaling heavy, and they realize, damn, I need employees, I need a good supplier, because my AliExpress one currently sucks. And so people run into issues a lot of the time where they're rushed into forcing a third party logistics company to come in and help them out but are they making the right choice i'm going to go over exactly that in this video and kind of you know show you a benchmark of like the e-commerce cpls that i know a few of them that i've almost worked with and worked with i can't disclose too much of their pricing either because a lot of these companies will base their pricing based on how many orders you are actually doing so that's all going to vary but here we go so before I actually go through the companies that I recommend that you look at and kind of the most popular ones in the space, what makes a good 3PL? And again, this is a question that you as the business owner are going to have to answer. For me and Anthony, for all of our, for all of our e-commerce brands, the most important things were number one, communication. You know, can we jump on a phone call with you in 10 minutes and talk to you right away? Like, can we do that? And then of course, number two, just their overall cost. Now there's so many costs associated with 3PLs and you'll see a lot of them right from the start. And some of them to keep in mind and just like research on your own about are the pick pack and shipping fees that you're gonna be dealt with every single order. You know, all these like things, because think about it, you have your products in a warehouse and every single time you get an order, they're going to pick that item, pack it, and then throw a label on there and ship it out. So make sure you look at your pick pack and ship fees. Along with that, there might be receiving fees. So when you ship your 800 units to your 3PL, they're gonna have to spend time unloading that stuff into the warehouse house that costs money so you might have to pay for receiving and then of course you got to pay for storage every single month you know how much are you taking up in their warehouse one small bin three large bins five pallets it's all going to vary depending on what you sell and how much volume you're doing but definitely make sure you have these in mind so that when you're calling these companies and doing your own due diligence you can answer these questions right away not to like dig through your whole notebook right you, you want to know these off the top of your head I'm exactly what you're looking to ship how the weight of your item all these things come into play. Now I'm gonna jump into my computer and kind of just like show you all the companies that I've spoken to before. Um, again, like I said, I can't disclose too much pricing, but these are the companies I recommend you go and book a demo for and talk to them and see if they can help you with your business. All right, so the first company here in my computer is called ShipBob. Now a lot of you have, may have already heard of this company. If you haven't, I definitely recommend checking them out. There's definitely not too much bad things to say about them. Um, you're gonna notice that a lot of companies charge somewhat competitive prices and these people might be a little bit higher, but there's always reasoning behind that. You know what I mean? Like if you're paying a premium for something, you know, 99% of the time it's because they're actually better than the competitors and like there's actually good service behind them. And these are kind of one of those people. I feel like all I can say here is that if you compare their pricing to other 3PLs, it might be a little bit higher, but like the stuff you get with them, is definitely worth the deal in my opinion. It's very, very simple the way they have ShipBob set up and a few other companies do this kind of stuff as well. But just to like jump into it, first they connect to your store and then you send them all your inventory. Then again, like it says here, they store your inventory in a lot of their fulfillment centers in the US. So they have tons of fulfillment centers you can choose from. Some companies, I forgot to mention this, some companies might just have one or two. So it's important to know where your customers are located. Do your customers come from the East Coast, the West Coast? That's gonna be important in terms of like where you base that warehouse with all your inventory. Right now we currently have one in Cal but we're looking to get a warehouse you know somewhere else perhaps maybe in Q2 or Q3 to somewhere in Dallas or Chicago because those are two very very common places that we find um, and recommended to us Dallas and Chicago California is good too you know Florida all those places but those are just some some locations to keep in mind I'm not gonna go over too much stuff with them again all you gotta do is like really request pricing tell them what you're kind of up to and they're gonna see what they can do for you and most of them at the times they'll be honest and tell you okay like we can't help you we can't help you number one is ship Bob on to the next number two it's they aren't related companies, but this company's name is called Shipmonk. Um, very similar to ShipBob, I guess, in terms of name, but their pricing and stuff is a little bit different. They have locations, uh, less locations, but multiple locations. So this is definitely company number two that I check out. Again, both of these two companies that I've showed you are very established and they've raised like hundreds of millions of dollars. So like they aren't gonna like flop and like take, they're not gonna like take your inventory and run away. Like they're actually legit, they're real. Like they're not gonna be, any holes in here of course you might have to pay they actually have the locations right here so there's la um, pennsylvania and florida like i said so those are obviously some good places 
The next one that we found that we did a lot of work with and just talking with and we still might even work with in the future is called Phil Mill. They're called The Phil Mill. And now these people might not be as commonly known as Ship Bob or Ship Monk. And that's kind of a good thing for me as an operator. I, like I said, I like having that one-on-one -on -one relationship where I can just like really talk to that one person and they're almost like a partner with my business, right? Like if you really think about that, like that's actually facts. Like the 3PL you work with is almost like a second partner in your business or third partner, whatever it may be. So you want to be tied with them and feel very trusted with them. So definitely check out the film mill. I'm not too sure if you guys are all gonna like them. They offer custom packaging, they offer the FBA prep, they offer all these kind of things. And the best thing about them is how easy they make returns. I'm sure ShipBob and ShipMonk has like the an easy returns process as well. But another thing to really look into considering is to considering is how easy are returns. Like now if you're not if you're in a niche like apparel where returns are higher and like you have customers want to exchange things and whatnot obviously having that simple return process is so easy and one of our brands is kind of in the whole apparel space and like when we have customers exchanging their items and we want that to be easy and quick and not long for them like no one likes returning something waiting for their new one to come and having to track all the time so having that simple process where they open a ticket restock it ship it back out to you all cost effectively and fast is very important if you're in one of those kind of niches if you sell just like an easy item where there is no exchanges or returns where it's kind of just like you get it you keep it you're done then maybe this isn't too as important to you obviously it all comes down to your business business model and what you sell. But that's number three, Phil Mill. Let's keep going. I'm not even sure how many I have, but let's just keep going. Another company that I recommend checking out is called Radial. I've only had one or two phone calls with them, but I do know that they actually help and work with a company called Skims. And so they actually disclose that to us. I'm not even sure why, but they do work with a company called Skims that's run by Kim K. What I've learned so far is that they have more of a bigger kind of client base with a bunch of people doing like over 10K orders a month. And so if you're under that threshold, they're currently rolling out a new program that might actually be helpful for you. But if you're over that, this is definitely a good option. These are the big guys. They're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna have a shit system in place where if you're doing 20K orders a month, they're gonna flop. They're gonna know what to do, how to handle it professionally and automate it, all of that. Um, of course, when you go to a smaller company, that's more one-on-one, -on -one, they might be a little bit less lenient with that and there might be holes. So you really have to do your due diligence here and make sure that you're working with pros because some GPLs are designed to only handle X to X orders per month. And if it gets over that, they actually might have problems themselves. So you gotta keep that in mind as well if you're scaling heavy. That's company number four, I believe. Radial, check them out. These are all gonna be linked below, by the way, but that's number four, Radial. I think the last company that I'm going to show here is called Minimus Fulfillment. Again, these are some great guys. A lot of these companies are, are probably unheard of for the first time for most of you, but I definitely recommend opening them a demo with them. I feel like a lot of people kind of resort to YouTube to, to kind of find a 3PL. And so there's not many that much videos out there right now about 3PLs. So I just wanted to make this video and quickly explain like five that I recommend that I've actually spoken to. There's so many out there. So again, do your own research, but this is number five. It's called Minimus Fulfillment. Um, they work B2C, B2B. If you're building your own custom product and want custom packaging and all that kind of stuff, there's more that goes into consideration. But if you already have something that's selling and you just want to ship it out of China to a US GPL, this is definitely one of those options that you want to check out. Believe me, if they even do half as good as what you think they're going to do versus your average supplier, you're going to be happy. You might be spending a bit more, but there's just going to be less refunds, less chargebacks, better shipping. Uh, and the list goes on. Alrighty, so I'm not sure how fast this video has gone by, but I really just want to make it clear that having a 3PL is so important, you know, that, that you can trust and just make sure that you work with. Again, some of those main things to keep in mind when you're choosing one is not only like the communication, but of course the pricing, you know, how much for pick, pack and shipping, how much for receiving, how much for the actual warehouse you know, holding your inventory month over month. Is there, you know, thresholds to how many orders you can be doing a month or cannot be doing a month? Ask all these questions, compile all that information to a spreadsheet and make the decision that's best for you. Don't rush. Again, I know endless people that have scaled so hard just to ship their stuff to a 3PL that's overcharging them and it fucks with their margins for life. So make sure you take your time, ship this thing to the right 3PL. And if it's not working, just ditch it. You can always start with a test quantity of like maybe like 500 units, for example. And if things are going bad, just get out and tell them to get lost. You can do that. There's no like long-term contract needed. Usually you can kind of pick up and leave whenever you want. So make sure you do that. You know, don't overexpose yourself and your company. Be smart about it and make sure the numbers make sense in your head before anything else. Let's turn to run out of ideas. So if there's one thing you guys want to do, 
besides hit that like button or join my Discord server, it's comment below on what I could have said better in this video or give me other future ideas. You know, a lot of people have so many questions with e-commerce, but some so many of them have already been addressed a million times. So if you have problems about your Facebook pixel, your ads not working, converting, you know, straight off the bat, like your biggest problem is probably just your content and your copy for your Facebook ads. But aside from that, if there's other problems that you have about Facebook, e-commerce, anything, and you want to see me talk about it just like this, comment below. And again, if you want to hop in that Discord server, the link's all below, along to all these GPLs, it's all linked below. I'm gonna hop off right here, guys. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you're currently looking for a 3PL in a big rush, like you're actually currently rushing about it, I hope this video helped you kind of just like shortlist your options. Definitely check out ShipBob. I know like they're probably like the biggest, kind of like best in the group in terms of popularity. But then again, it all comes down to your business model. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.